Whether you just bought a new grip or you're thinking about getting one, it'll help if you understand all the grip can do and how the features work. When you first unpack your new grip, you'll see that the jaws aren't installed yet, so it's pocket-sized and that's a great way to pack it up for travel. Spinning the jaws in place on the quarter-inch threaded screw is fast and easy. To do it, start by tightening that tension knob and then tightly screw the jaws in place. That way, when you loosen the tension knob so that you can position your smartphone during normal use, you don't have to worry about the jaws coming unscrewed. Your grip is ready to mount by spinning it onto a tripod or a platypod, or because of the shape of the base, you can clamp it into any ARCA compatible ball head. The jaws expand to more than 105 millimeters. And since you can spin the loosened jaws all the way around and tilt it past 90 degrees, you can get your smartphone to face just about any direction you need. When you shoot video and you need a cold shoe mount to hold a mic or a light, the grip jaws have two built-in cold shoe mounts to help you out. When you look at the bottom of the base, you'll see the two standard size screw holes in photography. The 3 8 inch center hole is the standard size for most any tripod and platypod. Those two other holes are quarter inch for smaller photography mount systems. You'll also see that there are three holes on the back of the jaws in case there's some reason that you want to mount the jaws off center or if you want to mount optional accessories on your setup like platypod magic elbows or platypod goosenecks. You already know that you can easily unmount the jaws so that you can make the grip small enough to slip into your pocket like when you first got it. But check this out. If you're a smartphone shooter who uses a standard mirrorless camera sometimes and you like to travel light, your grip without the jaws is a mini ball head and it's rated to hold up to five pounds. Simple and powerful. Now you know the platypod grip.